Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. In this video, we're doing another SQL tutorial. It's building on from a previous video I did on window functions with the ranking options. And in this video, we're looking at introducing the group by clause as well. As always, don't forget, if you do like the video, please do hit that thumbs up button. As I say, we're building on from a previous video, so if you haven't checked that out, do go back and check that out before this video. I will leave a link in the description uh, below. So, in this video, we want to return a ranking of customers by how much they have spent with us. So, we'll jump over to SQL Server Management Studio now, and we'll go through some examples of using the ranking functions with the group by clause. So, we've come over to SQL Server Management Studio now. Um, we're going to be looking at our sales underscore two table. Uh, so I'll just introduce this now. So we've got a sales ID, which is a unique uh, integer value and identity column. Uh, we've got a customer ID, which relates to the customer who per uh, made the purchase. An employee ID, the employee who made the sale. The sales date, uh, so this data is just for the month of October 2017. Uh, sales total and a payment method of either cash or card. So how are we going to start this off now? Remember what we want to return is a ranking of customers who have spent the most down to customers who have spent the least. So this is a common scenario for businesses. Maybe we want to send out a special voucher to customers who are spending a lot with us. And maybe we want to look at customers who are spending very little with us as well for targeted marketing. So let's go ahead and just write a simple group by statement. If you are new to using the group by clause, there is another video on my channel going through that as well, so feel free to check that out. So we're going to simply start off returning our sales customer ID and a sum of the sales total. And I'll just give that an alias as total, something that means something to us. And we're going to group it by our customer ID, in this case, sales underscore cust ID. And we forgot to put a comma, no problem. Let's go ahead and execute that now. So we could simply achieve this result by ordering by total descending. So we've got a few customers here who spent the same amount of £421.50. But what we actually want to do is return a ranking based on the amount they have spent with us. So our top customers here are 13 and 18. So we know from previous videos working with ranking functions, we have two options. We can either use rank or we can use dense rank. And in this video, we're going to be looking at rank. So simply what I'm going to do is add another column. Now, one of the benefits of window functions is because they are part of the select clause, so our data is already grouped due to logical query processing order. And we're going to simply write out our function. So we're going to write rank, open and close brackets, and we're going to go over and then we're going to buy order by our total no sorry sales total and we're going to set that as a descending order so if we go ahead and execute that query now we can see it's invalid because it's not contained within an aggregate function or the group by clause. So what we're going to do within this query is we're going to actually use the sum of sales total. So we're going to say sum sales total as we would do normally. Go ahead and execute that query. I'll just give that an alias as RNK for rank. And we can see here we've now got an order of results. So we can now order by our rank, get rid of the descending, and then we know we've got sales customer ID 13 and 18, which are rank one. They've both spent the same amount of 421.5, and then we've got sales customer ID 
8 in third place. Let's have a look at Dense Rank just to build on this a little bit more and also to show the difference between the two. So we'll go Dense underscore Rank open and close brackets. We'll copy the query from our rank, uh, our over clause from our rank, and we just call that dense. And we can see there that sales customer ID 8 has got a rank of 3 but a dense rank of 2. So we know that our rank is a count of the previous rows plus 1, and our dense rank is just previous rank plus 1 as well. That's just a quick example of how we can use the group by clause with our ranking functions to return a rank of a an aggregate function. In this case, we're using a sum of the sales total. We could build on this further. So one of the columns we have in here is sales date. So we could say our sales date is greater than or equal to the 24th of October, so the last week of October, and we go ahead and execute that. And as suspected, the results have changed. So in this case, we've got our customer ID 8, which is the top, and we now have completed our query. We're available to return that maybe to our marketing team who are looking at doing some targeted marketing to see which customers are spending the most, maybe some customers who are spending little. They could send offers out. So that's just an example of a business scenario that this could be useful for. Hope you have enjoyed that video. If you have, please comment below. Let me know if there's any other videos on any different areas you'd like to see me upload. Check out my other videos on the channel as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching.